What's going on everybody? Josh Engelman for awesomeo.com and I am back with my DraftKings showdown breakdown for tonight's Denver Broncos New York Jets game, which should be great. Anyway, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you know when this and all of our other content goes live. Follow me on Twitter, at Josh Engelman, so you can get updates to my sim results as we get closer to lock. I'll probably drop those around an hour before game time. Finally, let me know in the comments section, who are your favorite options at captain or at utility for tonight's game? Now, on average, 111.7 fantasy points is in the optimal lineup. The median salary spent $47,900, which means leaving some money on the table looks pretty good today. 3.2 Broncos, 2.8 Jets, on average, in the optimal lineup, Jets now minus one. It was minus two when I recorded the FanDuel video like a half hour ago. Uh, total 41 points. It's just going to be a really, really tough game. But that's what I'm here for. Time to dive in to the captains. This might be the most difficult game we see in terms of choosing a captain. Melvin Gordon, Sam Darnold, Brett Rippon, Jerry Judy. All slightly north of 10% odds of being the top captain. Sam Ficken, Brandon McManus, Jamison Crowder, all just a hair behind them. This is really difficult. We're talking about seven guys that all have, you know, roughly a 10% chance of being the captain. Melvin Gordon, eh, Sam Darnold, eh. I want to look at Brett Rippon, but even still, 15 3, I think he might be a tad too expensive. So if I'm looking at captain, I really like the idea of going to a wideout, whether that's Jamison Crowder or Jerry Judy. 12-3 for Crowder, 11-7 for Judy. They're both picking up a little bit of ownership, but not nearly as much ownership as the, the guys at the top, Gordon, Darnold, and Rippon. They are the most likely scenario at captain, but Gordon, Darnold, and Rippon only show up in the captain spot about a third of the time, uh, which means two thirds of the time you're going to need somebody else. I like starting with Crowder and Judy. I think that you can get some pretty nice stacks with uh, bringing the quarterback into the utility spot as well. Crowder at 10% ownership, showing up a little bit behind in the captain odds. I think that Crowder's ownership will come down a little bit as we get closer to lock, maybe up a little bit more on the quarterbacks. But Jerry Judy right now is one of the few guys where you could actually find leverage over the field. I had him showing up in the captain spot 10.6% of the time. We only have him at 9% ownership. There aren't many other spots you can go outside of dropping all the way down to the kickers, whether it's McManus or Ficken, 6,900, 6,600, no ownership whatsoever for the kickers. You would need a few field goals. We're talking probably four, maybe two or three in that 40 yard plus range. But given the look of both of these teams, given the look of both of the offenses, would it be really that surprising if one of these teams only came away with field goals? I don't think so. Now, as we head to the utility spot, that's where things start to make at least a little bit more sense. Gordon, Darnold, Rippon, all roughly 50% chances of being in the utility spot. I think Brett Rippon is going most underrepresented. He's bringing in the least amount of ownership between Darnold and Melvin Gordon. Uh, I think that he should be owned quite a bit more than that. So I have him at 47.6% in the utility spot. The projected ownership now just 40 and a half. So Rippon is a guy that I would want to take a stand on. I don't have much of a take on the Noah Font, uh, Jamison Crowder, Jerry Judy section of utility. You'll probably want one of those three in every lineup that you're doing. Uh, they all show up with roughly 100% utility ownership if you add them all together. That's where their ownership is as well. Now, as we start dropping down, surprise, surprise, I'm interested in the kickers. McManus and Ficken, 4,600, 4,400. There's just not, they're not, they're, they're, whoop, whoop. they're just not getting enough ownership. It's fine. It's fine. You guys know that I'm going to stumble through this. It happens. I'm leaning more towards Ficken over McManus, but either way, I think you need to be paying attention to the kickers. Broncos D looks like it's properly owned. Jets D looks like it's properly owned. You can drop all the way down to someone like Chris Hogan at 3,200. I think he's going a little underrepresented given his projection. Perrine going a little underrepresented given his projection. Josh Malone, perhaps, for the flat $200 in the utility spot. But even he's already projected for 6% ownership. 
Utility spot is super flat. You're going to want to find one or two guys that you're getting a little bit of leverage on. My bet, honestly, is the kickers. Which makes for like a total blast of Thursday night football. All right, so we've talked about captains. We've talked about the utility spot. Now we need to talk about fades. I talked about it in the FanDuel video, which you could watch by clicking the link above. Noah Font, 13,500 at the uh, captain spot. He's going over owned. He's already at 7%. I'm not really interested there. Melvin Gordon is projected for 19% ownership right now in the captain spot. I only have him showing up in that spot 13% of the time. He is the most expensive play on the slate. I'm not saying to fully fade Melvin Gordon, but if you are playing a large field GPP, I do not think that Melvin Gordon is your best potential captain option to like win the entire contest. Let me be more specific. Melvin Gordon will be the most likely winner of a captain if you have to pick any individual captain. However, if you're trying to maximize your odds of winning a GPP, I think going a different direction will be better for you long term. Now, as we head to the utility spot for fades, Melvin Gordon is owned properly. Feel free to put him in half of the things that you do. Similar story for Sam Darnold. Keep him in about half of the things that you do. If you're looking for fades, Philip Lindsay is 6,200. He is currently projected for 15% ownership. I think that he should be around six. That is a guy that I would happily just wipe from my player pool. Won't feel good, but I don't mind it at all. Uh, I don't want to go to Ryan Griffin at $600. He's already picking up ownership. If you're trying to look for a pay down guy, I don't think that's going to be it. Otherwise, there aren't a ton of fades in the utility spot that I think need to be talked about. $8,200 Jamison Crowder is close, but he's still going to show up in that utility spot about 30% of the time. He's going a little bit more owned, so go to Font, go to Jerry Judy if you have to switch between the two. If you need more, if you have salary, go to Font. If you don't, go to Judy. Again, not saying just fully ignore Crowder, but he is going a tad over-owned. All righty, folks, that will do it. That is my DraftKings showdown breakdown for tonight's game between the Broncos and the Jets. One last time, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you know when it goes live. Follow me on Twitter at Josh Engelman so you can get the updates to my sim results as we get closer to lock. And let me know in the comments, who are your favorite captains? Who are your favorite utilities? And go watch my FanDuel video. Once again, link right here. I broke this down for the single game slate on FanDuel. We'll be doing two videos for every showdown slate. Every Thursday night, every Sunday night, every Monday night. You'll get to one DK, one FanDuel. Good luck tonight, guys. I'll talk to you guys again for Sunday's games. <laughs>